In 2020, COVID-19 redefined normal, everyday life the world over. As the global pandemic raged, the MRT Putrajaya Line project continued despite lockdowns which resulted in daily activities grinding to a halt. Work on this essential national infrastructure project needed to continue. Proactive steps to protect our workers from COVID-19 were implemented to ensure that they were safe. Despite the challenges, every team working on the project pulled through, allowing for important project milestones to be completed on schedule. Civil construction works were completed for the nine elevated stations from MRT Damansara Damai to MRT Kampung Batu, paving the way for final testing and commissioning in preparation for the launch of Phase 1 of the project. At the same time, the new MRT Putrajaya Line electric trains were being subjected to 4,000 kilometers of fault-free operational testing to ensure their reliability and safety before being handed over to the future rail operator. Extensive testing of all systems was conducted, including signaling, communications on the trains themselves, as well as how they interact with the automated systems at each station. Part of the Putrajaya line will involve the transfer of a section of the MRT Kajang line including three stations to the new line. During this period, there was no train service between MRT Kwasa Central and MRT Sungai Bulo, and the public were provided with a free shuttle bus service instead. Volunteers were also stationed at station access points to assist in directing the public and to answer inquiries. The upcoming opening of Phase 1 of the MRT Putrajaya Line will enhance the connectivity of existing rail networks. The award-winning Surambi design of the new elevated stations provide easy convenience and accessibility to thousands of residential and commercial residents along the new alignment. Last mile connectivity will also be enhanced using feeder buses and free GoKL buses. As work on Phase 1 nears completion, Phase 2 construction continued to press on. One of the achievements is the completion without incident of box jacking works beneath Jalantun Raza. The interior of the new underground stations also began to take shape with the delivery and installation of various forms of heavy equipment like air handling units, AHU, main switch boxes, escalators, tunnel fans, cooling towers and more. Surveying work now employs 3D terrestrial laser scanning, or TLS, which allows for precise and reliable data for space planning, construction verification to uncover design inconsistencies, as well as provide a digital blueprint for future expansions or maintenance. A critical factor that has allowed progress to continue undeterred has been the implementation of effective COVID-19 mitigation initiatives to protect each team working on the project. From strict SOPs enacted at all work sites and offices to the exemplary centralized labor quarters or CLQ complexes which house the general labor workforce, every precaution has been taken to minimize any potential outbreak. An in-house PCR laboratory was established to facilitate regular and accurate testing of all project workers with a quick turnaround in results. This allows quick infection detection and isolation by specially equipped ERT teams and vehicles. Over 80% of the workforce was also fully vaccinated by the end of 2021. 
This dedication to safety at the highest levels has been recognized internationally at the highest levels by industry peers, culminating in a slew of award wins and certifications. We are on target for overall project completion as civil construction enters the final phase. The finish line is finally in sight, the culmination of years of hard work. The MRT Putrajaya line is a result of skills, expertise and capabilities of Malaysians coming together. The MRT Putrajaya line will benefit generations of Malaysians to come. We are building for a better future.